Next, we're going to talk about browsing and searching for an item. There are several ways you can browse for or find content on the Libby app. If you don't have a specific author or title in mind, you can browse the collection in a couple of ways. The first is on the home screen. To get to the home screen, tap the library building icon in the bottom menu. As you scroll, you will see various collections that are updated regularly and changed throughout the year. Here they're highlighting adult fictions and those guys that you see with kids, teens and more that um, they pretty much always have those and it's a nice guide in those um, subjects. Another way to browse is to use that navigation bar that appears at the top of the home, the library home screen. Available now is a, is a great way to find titles that are currently available. If, you, if you're looking to read or listen to something right now, that's the best way to find available items. If you tap on that filters button, that, that's a brand new button with a little balloon, that will allow you to browse popular subjects such as romance, thriller, and mystery. If you would like to see a list of all the subjects, genres, topics, and categories, you wanna tap on the explore all that's in bold, and that will bring up that screen to the right. You can see there's, many, there's more besides what's just shown there, and you can scroll up. The numbers that are next to each one, um, that's the number of titles in that particular um, subject that's shown. Tapping on a particular subject will bring up a list of titles within that subject. Say you want to narrow it down to books or audiobooks, you can tap either of those buttons on the top. You can see there's about 5,000 books, uh, mystery books, and uh, 2,000 audiobooks. If you would like to narrow it down further, you want to tap, you can tap on the filters, um, the filter button again, and that will bring up this menu on the side. And you can um, tap on the options that you would like to apply. For example, you can choose to see only titles that are currently available. The reading level, if you're looking for um, a juvenile or young adult book, and you can tap on more than one subject. So if you wanted to say, see um, mystery and thriller or historical mysteries, that would be the way to do it. If you scroll down further, you will get more options such as language and format. We do have some um, Spanish language um, collections in the Spanish language titles in our collection. And if you are a Kindle reader, this is a good way to limit eBooks that are in Kindle format. You can see um, if you were to tap on books on this screen, uh, then you can on the, on the screen to the right, Kindle is one of the options. Not the, all of the eBooks that we have in our catalog are available in Kindle format. Once you have selected the options you would like to filter, you can tap on that teal button in the top right, and that will display the titles that meet your selected criteria. Another neat feature within the filter menu is the ability to search within the results. You can use this to search for a keyword or author within a particular genre or um, subject. For example, if you have already selected mystery, you could search for time travel to see a list of time travel mysteries. Once you have refined or chosen your preferences, you can select a title to borrow or place on hold. On the result list, you will see the cover of the book or audiobook. Audiobooks will have a small earbuds icon next to the length of the audiobook. Tapping on the picture of the cover will bring up more details about the title, including a plot summary, how other readers have tagged the book, for example, suspense, thriller, the available formats for the book, and the intended audience. If you would like to search, uh, if you have a specific title, author, or series in mind, you can search using the magnifying glass icon. Once you start typing, suggested items will populate in a list. You can tap on one of the suggestions, or if there are none, you can tap either the magnifying glass, we can see that on the end of the search box, or tap the search or enter button on your device's keyboard once you have entered the full search term. 
Next, you will see the results screen. Here is where you can borrow or place an item on hold. If you're not sure about a particular title, like if you want to know more about what it's about, tap on the picture of the book cover to learn more. So you can see on the right, it gives a description of the book, some um, reviews on top, and there's also an option to read a sample of the book. And on the those gray buttons on the bottom of the on the right, those are what users have tagged um, that particular title as. Depending on your search, and this is a new feature that we have, you may see the deep search button on your results screen or in the filters section. If you choose this option, it will bring up titles that are not currently owned by our library system. If you tap on notify me next to one of the titles, you will receive a notification if our library purchases that title in the future. If you've used the recommend section on the, the OverDrive website, that is similar to this because they also will be removing that recommend me feature and they're replacing it with the notify me feature. In addition to books and audiobooks, you can also read a large variety of magazines with Libby. Magazines are often one of the first featured lists on the library's home screen. And if you tap on that arrow, it will allow you to see, those are just some popular ones that they highlight. If you tap on see all over 3,300 3, titles, it will um, bring up a whole more sc bigger screen of the different magazines that we offer. Magazines can be refined in the same way as a book and audiobook list by using the filter button. A difference with magazine versus books and audiobooks is that you see the current issue as a larger size and recent previous, recent previous issues underneath the word borrow. If you tap on borrow, you will be borrowing a copy of the largest picture, which is the current issue. If you tap on any of the issue dates or issue numbers that are below that, below the word borrow, um, you will bring up more information on that specific issue and you can borrow that issue from that screen. You can also borrow older issues of that magazine as well by tapping on one of the older issue titles and scrolling down on the next screen. So this is what the next screen looks like. If you tapped on the, the main one, um, you get what's in that particular issue. And then to the right, those are more older issues that you can borrow as well. You can search for a specific magazine title using the same searching method we discussed previously. When you search for a magazine, look for the word series in yellow next to the title. It won't always be a magazine because um, it does that sometimes for series, but that's a good way to limit it to magazines. Okay, does anyone have any questions or about the browsing and searching? Um, on the screen, show um, guess what it looks like the library card. Sometimes there's a check and sometimes there's a Okay, let me go back so I can see what I mean. So, oh, you see how oh, that the one where the first one has yeah, a Biloxi, voice of Biloxi has a check. I believe the check is means that it's it's not currently available. I'm pretty sure. Um, no, yeah, place hold. Yeah, so if you see a little check mark icon next to it, that means it, that it needs to be placed on hold if you wanted to read that one. It's just another way of showing that it's what's available and what's not. Because Will the hold tell you what? Where you are in the hold? Yes, yeah, we're going to talk about holds in a, in a little bit, but it will tell you where you are and your place in line and everything once you place the hold. You can also either borrow or place it on hold by clicking, by tapping or clicking those icons as well, those the check mark or the, the plus sign. Okay. 